This image that I have on my screen here is of a town called Wynn, Arkansas. There have been tremendously powerful tornadoes that have just gone through the southeastern U.S. One of the lakes out in California terribly suffering from the drought conditions. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. See the power of the water coming through. This is Ukraine, Crimea in particular. We are watching and we're seeing and we are getting a photographic record of some incredible things that happen all around the world. Satellite company Maxar made a name for itself over images like these, exposing scenes from the war in Ukraine, such as Russian troops massing near the Ukrainian border before the invasion, and this Russian convoy headed for Kyiv last year. Satellite images provided to CNN showed the intense bombardment of the tree lines. In the war in Ukraine, our satellite imagery is making a difference. These extraordinary, revealing images are so close and so clear. Before and after, satellite images reveal extraordinary devastation. This is an area right along the Black Sea coast where the Russians have built up fortifications um, all along the beach. These are what are called dragon's teeth that are used to block tanks or other military vehicles from moving ashore. And it's, again, the, a reflection of the kind of things that we see, being able to orbit and see from above a very large area, but with a level of detail that becomes very compelling and very visually understandable. Maxar has contracts with clients around the world, including governments, and shares its data with news agencies such as CNN. There's almost an insatiable amount of demand at this point for location-based services, for understanding what's happening on our changing planet. We have hotspots that we're going to monitor because we know they're important. Ukraine, parts of North Korea, um, storms in the Midwest, you name it. Literally every 90 minutes, the, the satellites are making their passes. And as the Earth is spinning, we're collecting more data. Maxar is one of several private satellite companies in the US, such as Planet Labs, Black Sky, and iSci, and the first to receive an enterprise license from the US government in the 90s for commercial Earth observation from space. Back then, the company was known as Worldview Imaging. We actually blew up our first couple of satellites, and that was a cold water in the face moment that space is hard. We got our first pictures, and they were amazing. We were seeing things around the world that were of a level of detail that most people had never seen before. Today, there are more than 90 Maxar-built satellites in orbit, and the company can collect 3.8 million square kilometers of high-resolution images every day. There's always something that's happening somewhere in the world, and that's really what we do, is to help look at the imagery, analyze it, and then translate it for people to be able to understand what we're seeing. Maxar also sells its satellites and related technology, and is developing new ways to gather data from space, including 3D analysis. Imagine a future where you've got everything digitized in a 3D format that's a twin of what's actually happening on the planet. An event happens, it's like a natural disaster, a hurricane. You can figure out very quickly where the floodplain zones are, where people might be impacted, where best to position relief supplies, how best to evacuate people or provide medical relief. And I think Maxar is going to be at the cutting edge of that. We are making this sort of information available globally. And we're providing a level of global transparency that just didn't exist before. We often get asked about the privacy side of it. You can't see individual people and be able to recognize who they are. If there are things that are potentially questionable, we have an internal review process. But in general, more information is a good. Free societies thrive on the availability of information to make informed decisions. And we're part of that. <laughs>